Let me take you to 20 years back where resources were limited and mobile phones were not too common. But life was running smoothly even on the dilapidated roofs. Festival was near and our preparation were also in full swing. Like today it was not a trend to make new clothes every second. That is why it was very difficult to choose a dress for myself. Probably every girl has a desire to look the most beautiful and attractive. On the same lines as me and my friends were doing preparation and hiding which is good in a such manner as the Kohinoor diamond. There was a fear in almost everyone's mind that no one could copy her dress. After a long wait, the festival arrived. A lot of dishes were made at home and my job was to cater all these dishes to the neighbor. Frequent guests were also on the move. Only then did my cousin came to my place with the parents. I was stunned to see that she was wearing the same dress as me. This was the only thing that spoiled my mood throughout the day. But one has to inform you with regret that was not new. She would always do this to me. The matter did not end here. After clearing the 10th pole, I decided to take passes. The selection of the subject was predetermined. Everything in my mind was so clear about what I wanted to be and how I could achieve my goal. The limit was reached when my cousin did not hesitate to copy me in subject selection. As far as I know, she wanted to be a successful painter. The bad habit of following others without thinking led her to deviate from her ulterior motives. Even after two years of undying effort, she did not create interest and in succulence in her subject. Then she changed her subject and studied further. These incidents will remind you of some such people to whom they must have followed others contrary to their personal preference and personalities. The question arises, why do people copy one's behavior? According to Mandy Wesson, people who copy others do so because they find it helpful to them when they are unsure how to navigate many things or many choices in life. They copy the others as a reference point to make good choice in their life. They basically want to get things so right. Sometimes people copy what you do because they like or are interested in you or otherwise because you have natural leadership qualities. For me, copying a personality is a bad thing while it's flattering to be admired by those we love, being copied can often feel like identity theft. The other, other person not only want to imitate you but replace you too. Like the other person is trying to make a way for us, for our uniqueness. If you scratch the surface, it feels like an insidious kind of envy, especially in the worst case scenario. Mirroring is an acceptable technique to achieve a rapid assimilation and acceptance into any group. Just as long as you are honest with yourself and your motives are well intentioned. There are some points on this screen which are showing the difference between mirroring and following others. Copying others mean to copy or duplicate the original form. It is done to entertain or ridicule some actions or voices. It is can be termed as mimicry, means to imitate the exact one. But the following means to walk in the path of person's principle or policies and take yourself as his followers. It is done with the intention to go behind persons who already started the path or journey and you just need to accompany them. Copying is an innate human skill, one we need for survival. We copy to learn, to understand and to join social status by mimicking others. But copying a person blindly puts you at a high risk of copycat effect. Copying a person or following others is fruitless because we cannot follow them completely and every person's experience is unique to them. Still, one of the cons in this is the risk of trying to recreate someone else's work and not being able to pull it off. This is enough for today. I'll catch you in my next video. Till then, bye-bye.